And Caleb Oliver is one of the zookeepers who has been helping care for Cinchy and joins us via Zoom. Hey, Caleb, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Hi, thanks, Lisa. It's good to be with you. I see we have a, a Cinchy sighting up in, up in the tree there. Yeah, this is actually really nice because normally I can't see what the camera sees and have no idea what's going on behind me. But <laughs> he's being queued up in their in their hammock, and Chaska is being queued down in the, their leaf pile. Yeah, yeah. So tell us, what's it been like? I mean, caring for uh, since he since he was born, what in January? Um, it's been really great. You know, um, it was a little nerve wracking at first. They're so sensitive and so private that, you know, we, we had to play everything very cautiously. And um, she's a great mom, though, and has, has stayed that way. So everything is, has been going splendidly. And um, he's at a point now where I, I call it peak cuteness. He's gotten very strong and very well coordinated. So he, he gets um, very playful. He gets little periods of the zoomies where he he really tears around the place, and um, it's just a lot, of, a lot of fun to work with. Very rewarding, um, but also, you know, fun. Everything is still new at this phase. You know, sure. Every, you know, it's all, all first. So first time climbing all the way to the top of the tree. First time playing in a water tub or getting a whole melon. Um, so it's it, getting to share in those new experiences with him has, has been um, really rewarding. Now, what's it like? Um, you know, we always hear that uh, mama bears are very protective of their cubs. Do you have to be cautious of that? Oh, sure. Yeah, she's, you know, be, being born in a zoo and um, being worked with from a very young age. She's, you know, not nearly as much like that as a wild bear. But she still is a wild animal, so she she has her protective instincts kick in um, much much more so in the first few months. Um, but she's still, you know, if something's out of the ordinary. Um, you know, if I make too much noise or bring something like the laptop that that might throw her off a little bit, she can get a little bit huffy and protective. Um, but we have a very close relationship with her. Uh, primarily myself and one other keeper. Uh, work with them most of the time and and we we try to develop a, a lot of as much trust as we can and desensitize them to things like that like you know tools or people um, it's going to be interesting to see how the the baby re reacts when when and you know we are able to open again um, not having big crowds in the zoo um, I'm sure it'll be a fairly quick adjustment they 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 um, you know, they're cautious about things at first, but then adapt very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, but Alba, from the time she was little, was so popular that, you know, we, we always had a huge crowd in the zoo. So she got not only desensitized people, but was very curious about it. She was quite the show off. So Aww. it'll be interesting to see him go through that transition a little bit later in life. Now, uh, has Chaska noticed or ha that there aren't any people around, do you think? Not really. You know, you see a lot of headlines where um, such and such a zoo animals miss visitors and things like that. I, I don't really think they do very much. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, um, you definitely notice a difference. Some, some of the animals do like attention, like I said. So, like you know, your otters and and monkeys, things like that, will, will definitely. Um, act a little bit differently but they haven't you know gotten depressed or anything like that they just um act a little bit differently I would sure say. sure well we can't wait to get in there and, and see little cinchy firsthand um it, he's growing up so fast it seems sure, like yeah. <laughs> seems like with everything going on you know we've been staying so busy that he seems to be growing even faster than alba alba I was surprised, you know, she was the first baby, newborn bear I had worked with, so it seemed like she grew in slow motion almost. Mm -hmm. you know, everything was, was so uh, focused, but as busy as ever we've been staying, it, it seems like it was just a week ago when he was born, and mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's so big. <laughs> well, Caleb Oliver with the Salisbury Zoo, thank you so much for taking sure. the time, and uh, thank uh, Chaska and, and Cinchy up there. I think uh, we lost him, I think he took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he uh, passed out over the front of the hammock. The focus might not be that great right now. But oh, there he is. I see. They, they sleep when the weather's nice. They'll both sleep up there. And he uh, he learned how to climb well really, really quickly. So he, that's his, his favorite spot when he's not running around like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again. Sure thing. Take care.